It's been exactly one year since 14-year-old Laddie Gillett had his last stand here on the Placentia Beach. His life was tragically taken when police officer Karib Martinez shot him in the back with a bullet that went straight to his heart. That heart-wrenching realization is somehow a source of consolation for the family that still grieves his loss. The coroner said that when he was shot straight through the heart in the back, that he died instantly. So, you know, that gives me some kind of solace to know my child didn't suffer. Right. Alone. And despite the tragedy that was the end of Laddie's life, The Bradley Flemings and the foundation they've named in his honor have managed to find some hope in a garden they've planted on the Placentia Beach. It's really shift the energy. You know, when the family and I would walk past that place, we would always be in tears. We felt tremendous sorrow, loss. And now we decided, you know what, let's take this and change the energy of this space into a positive space, not just for kids, Aimed at kids, of course, but for everybody. We'll have a nice place to sit, look out on the sea, have a pretty garden around them, and just uh, think about life and perhaps think about loss. And uh, Laddie's plaque will be there. We'll direct people to the foundation. And we'd like people to jump onto our website so they know, you know what we're doing, uh, give us more ideas that they may have of what we should be doing. And, of course, aside from our projects, we will continue fighting for justice for Laddie. That's, uh, that's definitely going to happen. And today, the family witnessed a symbol of that justice in what they call the run for Laddie, a three-minute dash from the place where Laddie fell to the safety that he tried to get to, a moment of transcendent healing for the run that Laddie never got to finish. Lucy Fleming says that today's celebration, while launched by the Justice for Laddie Foundation, owes a lot to the bravery exhibited by hundreds of young people who bravely stood with the family in the days and weeks following Laddie's death. You know, this is what really has buoyed us uh, through our grief, because we we know that uh, he was our Laddie, but Laddie belonged to all of us. And so when we saw everybody nationwide and all the children with their candlelight vigils, their songs, their poems, it was just heartwarming. And it really helped us get through our darkest moments because we felt the love and we continue to feel the love. And there's nothing like it. There's nothing else. There's nothing more healing than love. I mean, you need time just to get through the rawness of it. But then love is going to carry you through anything. So... Yeah, I don't think that we would have found this kind of activity nationwide in any other nation in the world. I think people really have stood up for their rights with Laddie. And like I said, we will be fighting not just for our Laddie, but for every Laddie. One of our mottos is Somos Laddie. We are Laddie. We are all Laddie. And he is a part of all of us now. So we will move forward. Uh, with him, with him in mind, with him in our hearts, and uh, make things happen, I'm sure. And so, you know, I don't know what Kareem Martinez is going through, I can imagine, but um, he himself must feel some sort of loss, I guess, but certainly for us, um, we're, we're getting through it. It's a year later. We couldn't talk about it for about a year. Now we can talk. Uh, We're moving into action. We're getting things done. And uh, yeah, he was loved by a great many people and adored by many. He was funny. He was gleeful. He was a great dancer. He could sing. He could play drums. I mean, anything, 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 anything he would do. He was excited about life. And he was really, really on the top of his life. He He was playing his best game and just doing extremely well and and so you know whatever we want to think he did leave this life on a very very good note. Sharice Halso, 7 News.